Christy Renee here from Mind Rewire and Christy Renee Healing Ministries. Um, haven't been on all week. I uh, took some time out for my own sanity and um, did a lot of work on my life recapitulation process. Um, Uh-oh. SR35 closed. There is a lot of smoke up here. I am heading into Park City. It is almost 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, and the smoke up here is ridiculous. You can almost smell it. It's almost like you can almost taste it. Super bizarre. Um, not super bizarre. It's We get this all the time coming out of Idaho and Canada, whatever's on fire. Um, jump, I wanted to jump on because I haven't been on in a week, so I wanted to... Um, talk a little bit about what I have been encountering and noticing and becoming. And so, like, oh, listen to this with an open heart, not an open mind. Get out of your brain, first of all. Totally disengage from your brain. Listen with an open heart. And not because I need compassion or because I need just because you'll hear it different, right? If you listen through your heart, you were, you will hear through the ears of your heart, through the ears of your spirit, instead of using, right, our sensory hearing, which is directly connected to your brain, which will take you to information that you think you know because of your past, right? That's how it works. Eyes the same way. Look at me through the eyes of your heart. Don't look at me through the eyes of your brain you'll see a whole different figure. And I don't mean shape or form, but you'll see a whole different thing, okay? So part of what I have been working on, I got set on a track this last week to spend the whole week not judging anything. Don't judge the tree as a tree. Don't ju judge the person as a person. Like you literally, I literally, I am, my I am presence, literally had to take over even at the heart level, to be able to perceive and do what I was doing, to be able not to look at anything with any kind of judgment is pretty much impossible because of our perceptory, 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 <laughs> our perception based reality, right? And the way our brains work is based on belief and perception. Like you have to believe something, you have to think it, believe it, to some degree, yes or no, and then have a perception in order for all of this to work. So it was the game of not perceiving anything, um, and then and judging it, right? Don't <clears throat> don't judge it, and just see what happens. So a lot of what started going on around me was just things that used to be in my field, my judgment about something would fall away in way, I mean, huge, huge fall aways. And some of them I can't talk about because they're extremely private um, with different members of my close community and family. But things that would be like, I would have a judgment about somebody's attitude towards something. So maybe let's use food as an idea. So I have a friend that has an issue with food that um, from different nationalities, right? Because of the nationality, because of her judgment about the people from the country, because of what she thinks she knows about who they are, she won't eat the food. She won't eat that, that kind of food. So, you know, Italian, Mexican... Um, Moroccan, probably more the Middle Eastern stuff. I'm like just thinking, holy crap, that scared me. I'm thinking of um, just different kinds of nationalities of food, but more Middle Eastern stuff is her issue. Not necessarily Italian, for sure. But when I dropped my judgment about and my perception about how she thought about that stuff, I let go of my judgment of her judgment of that. <laughs> Try and track me here. <clears throat> track with me on this one. We went out and all of a sudden she wanted to try some Middle Eastern. There was some little restaurant in a thing and she was like, oh, let's try that. 
Now, did my dropping my judgment about stuff have anything to do with that? Or was it strictly just her? I'm going to tell you right off the cuff, I don't know. If I had not dropped my perception, would she have changed? I don't know. I, I don't know. But what I witnessed was, what I witnessed was, when I changed, she changed. I am no different than her. It's the idea of an ocean and you take take an ice tray, this is a GM um, analogy, take an ice tray and fill it up, fill up the ice tray with water from the ocean and freeze it and you've got 12 ice cubes. But they all came from the same ocean. So she is her and I am me, but we came from the same ocean. When I dropped my judgment. And I think some of this has to do with the period of time that we are in. Absolutely. And some of it has to do with just coming to this understanding. Without judgment, what happens? Without judgment, who are you? Without judgment, what are you? Without judgment, how all this, how does all of this stuff work? So that was one of the things I was playing with this week was drop all your judgment and just see what happens. And when I did that, that was the change that I noticed. I'm trying to find a parking place, but I'm not doing a very good job. <laughs> um, so that was one thing that, that was going on this week, was watching that. I am taking concepts and ideas. Oh, look, I drove right past this parking place and didn't even see it. I'm taking ideas... Um, that I'm given, that I'm being told this, like last week, was judgment. Um, this week is just holding space for myself, right? I'm just holding space. I'm just allowing things to be open to flow. I'm not even sure what that means or what it looks like, but I'm just letting it, I'm just allowing it as we go along this week. Um, and a lot of this, I mean, it's just come because I'm asking, okay, what this week? What do I, What? how do I... How do I keep altering and changing this and changing my reality and realizing that we are all one? So, I mean, so here was here was another thing that happened last week. I'm so I'm all over the place today. I'm actually here to meet a friend for coffee. So um, I'll finish this up real quick. Here was another one that happened was I was sitting in our living room and there was some turbulence going on. My son had his thing and my husband had whatever was going on and something work related and whatever it was and I was literally sitting there I had my eyes closed and my hands on my heart and I was trying to go deeper and go deeper and go deeper even while all that was happening and I opened my eyes and what I suddenly realized was I could perceive them and perceive their world as they were perceiving it through their eyes and literally heard just go look none of this is separate from you that blew my mind. I was like, wow. So I spent spent part of last week, and I'll probably play with this again this week, walking around just looking through other people's eyes to see their, their what are they going through? What is their perception of the world around them? Changed me radically. I, I was just blown away. And... I don't know, you'll hear people say all different kinds of things about being in people's energy fields. I don't even know that I was in their energy field. I was in the one field and could see all of it, but I could pinpoint, right, at one particular moment whose eyes I was looking through or how, I mean, I don't even know how else to say that, but that's what it felt like was I was looking through their eyes at the subject matter. So I was totally in that moment with them in their in their subject. Does that make sense? So amazing. So amazing. Anyway, um, as we keep going, as this all keeps changing and growing, um, I would ask that you comment, like this video, comment on it. Always leave your comments. If it's a question, I always, I always try to answer them, but sometimes I just, I don't have the time or the capacity, um, which it is just what it is. So, 
Um, but please um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Um, it helps the movement if you comment of the videos. So um, I have not monetized any of this, so I'll put that out there. Um, none of it's monetized, none of it's, and I, I can at this point, and I just haven't done it. So um, I don't really want commercials on these videos, especially if we're doing a meditation. I don't want you to be stuck watching other people's commercials because I, I can't stand that myself. So um yeah like i mean do me the do me a favor of commenting and at least liking the video if if it helps you or some kind of sense to it to you i would i would appreciate that all right i love you bless you thank you and i will talk again soon talk to you again soon we'll talk again soon what did that mean it's all good <laughs> have a great day